Hello everyone, Jeff here. I'm starting this video showing my ghost shrimp. Though it's not really the topic of this video, I was going to point it out and I'm just showing it while it's out in the open because well now it's going to head over in the back in the dark area of the tank and it'd be hard to see. All right, well, I'm glad I shared it when I did because there it goes. Okay, so the topic of this video is that I am moving male layer tail guppy and four white clouds from my quarantine tank to this tank. And this is the first time I'm showing this tank. First time I have not made a video showing this tank yet. Um, this is a five and a half gallon. Um, I bought this as a, a kit with a filter and hood and LED light. It's just a cheap top fin kit. Top fin is the, the PetSmart brand. Um, does not have a heater. This is one where I don't need a heater. It's actually, well, it's not focusing, but it's about 74. Um, I keep my, in the winter, I've been keeping my apartment at about 72. That's warmer than I have in past winters, but here in Las Vegas, it's been in reaching the 70s in the last couple days. You know, in the winter, it still gets pretty cold at night. It'll, you know, it can drop below freezing, but it's been pretty warm right now. Well, anyway, um, I mentioned and last week that one of the plans was to to move these fish into this tank I already moved some of the other fish that I had in quarantine into my main 30 gallon community tank I'm finally moving these guys so this lucky lair tail guppy it's to join three virgin females. Three virgin female fancy guppies. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Can't get a good view of that one. That's one thing about these um, PetSmart top fin aquarium kits. They're not the lighting is pretty lousy. Like this one has just one set of LED lights that just you know beams down right in the center. So the left and right thirds of the tank remain pretty dark. But in here I have before adding these the new inhabitants I have those three virgin female guppies that ghost shrimp it's my one and only shrimp that I have I initially got two ghost shrimp to try you know my first time with shrimp just as kind of a trial and of the two one of them the first day I put them in I you know, going from the bag to the net to the tank, I didn't even notice, but one of them didn't make it into the tank. I found it the next day dried up right on the ledge right next to it. But one of them is in here, and it's been doing fine. And along with the three virgin females, there is two white clouds already in here. I believe they're both females. I'm not sure how to 
sex them, sex white clouds. Um, I think they're females just because they have bigger bellies. And I have two female marigold varietas platies and one female black red tail varietas platies, though it is lacking a red in the tail. And there's a one male marigold varietas platy. So this lucky male gets to have three virgin females all to himself. And there's creature. Hey creature. Yeah, so these there's two of these blue females. Well back I made a video when their their mother was sick. Um, I got a chance to make a, a video of her on her last day alive. She died the next day, but she did leave. She did produce many babies, and these are now have reached adulthood. And that this is another female that was born in my original quarantine tank that ended up after fry were born in that tank I it turned into a fry grow out tank I mean it was the first time I had fry after getting back into the aquarium hobby after all well, set about 17 years so it was kind of cool to have fry again so I let them I changed that plan and turned that original quarantine tank into a fry grow out tank. And that is the tank that I made that video where I put the wonder shell in. It's actually, of all the tanks I have, four of them have served as a quarantine tank at one point. This one being one of them. And that's where I even quarantined my plants. Because that, there's some jungle valve that I left in here after quarantining. It's actually doing better in here than it is in my 30 gallon. It's like not even growing at all in my 30 gallon, but I know that this is growing, but it's just maintaining. Got some Java moss and some anacharis. I mean, that grows. I could put that in the center into the in the light. And it grows fine with that. And we have some Java fern clippings. I'll try to attach it to that choya wood. All right, so while they're acclimating now. I'm going to start adding some aquarium water to that bag and then little by little, then later I'll let them out. It'll be interesting to see this this male. I'm kind of expecting them to go right after the females as soon as he gets out. I'll probably make a video later when they when I do release them. All right, so here's a first look at my five and a half gallon and the plan I talked about with the, where I was gonna breed a male liar tail with some virgin females. I mean, I think they'll, some of the fry will survive in the, take cover in the Java moss. See how that goes. It'd be interesting to see what kind of what the offspring is gonna look like. So stay tuned for that when that time comes. Alright.
Well, I guess that's it for now. And just a reminder again, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies, and I enjoy kitties. Thanks for watching.